Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Sean and I have your word for the day. Today's verse is Titus 3, 9 and it says this, But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. So there are a few important thoughts surrounding this verse and its context, but here's what I believe Paul is telling us. As Christians, we need to put the most important things first in your faith and your life. And the things that are not the most important, well, don't let those things distract you from what is. Don't throw away unity or peace or love, kindness, truth, in order to make a point or an argument that has nothing to do with what's the most important thing. Truthfully, that starts with the question of what are the most important things? As a Christian, what is worthy of arguing about? Or better put, what is worthy of our time and our energy to make sure that the world knows that this, this thing is true and good and worthy. And that thing is simply Jesus. Who Jesus is, and if you believe, trust, and follow him. But even that tends to get complicated. People bloat that way too much sometimes. Look, the thing that separates a Christian church and a non-Christian church, or a Christian and a non-Christian, isn't whether they do full baptisms or sprinkle water on your forehead. It's not whether they play your kind of music or not. It's not about, is it topical preaching or expository preaching or anything like that. It's this. Do they believe in the triune God that, that Jesus was fully God and fully human, capable and accomplished of living a perfect, sinless life while going through the same, if not worse, struggles than we ourselves have been through here on earth? And that while we were his enemies, while we were still sinners, he died here on earth for us, Exper experiencing excruciatingly painful physical death at the hands of the Romans and then taking on all of our spiritual death and sin and putting it all into himself, allowing us to be free from sin and eternal death by his sacrificial actions alone. And then he destroyed the power of death by being raised from the dead and allowing us to follow in his footsteps. See, all he asks of us is that we believe in our heart and profess with our mouth that this is true. That's what saves us. That's what makes us Christian. That's what God wants us to focus on and share and pass on. None of that other stuff. Nothing else matters quite as much as this. Because from this truth, he also gives us mission. For those who believe, we, got to we get to participate in good works and spread this good news that Jesus has died for us and was raised on that third day. All this so we can be free from our sin and spiritual and physical eternal death, and he exchanges that for eternal life instead. You see, everyone seems to have their hill to die on when it comes to Christianity. That's why we have so many denominations. This is why we have so many church splits and churches dying right now. People take things that are not the most important thing and they will be swept away into their own emotion and arguments involving it. Jesus is the only thing that matters. And the simplicity of him being the most important thing really throws people off sometimes. Like, I don't have to be good enough or do the right things in order to be saved or on mission. No. Just have Jesus first in your life. And everything else as a far far second. So if you really want to know if you're focusing on the most important thing, ask yourself this question. Am I sowing seeds of biblical peace, love, truth, grace, wisdom, unity, etc.? Or am I sowing seeds of chaos, envy, strife, selfishness, disunity? When you look behind you, are you destroying more than you are healing? The thing is, we're all human. And we're going to get it wrong sometimes. But knowing that Jesus is the most important thing is what will bring us back to reality and help us not get swept away in things that are subpar at best. So Calvary, I hope above all else you avoid investing your life into foolish arguments or selfish ways. Instead, I pray you put Jesus first, who he was, is, and will always be, and what that means for you. Have a great day, Calvary.